Good morning, everyone. This is Rob with Next Truck Sales, and I want to take this opportunity to introduce you to our 2017 Kenworth T680. This particular model features a Packard MX-13 engine with a 13-speed manual, disc brakes, collision mitigation, and a single bed. I'll take you through the truck, show you some of the features, some of the things that we've done to it to prep it for the next buyer. This came from a local fleet here that uh, we're very familiar with and it runs for their special commodities division. So this vehicle would have been hauling oversize and flat deck and curtain side type trailers. Uh, some of their premier drivers work for this division. So it came from a very good home, well maintained. Uh, take a look here. You're going to see it's got the chrome package. Uh, we've got the um, collision mitigation sensor in the front. This will detect vehicles in the truck's path and it will give you an audible warning. It'll give you a visual warning in the driver display. And if you get too close, it's gonna apply the brakes. So let's have a look here. You'll see we got some brand new top hats on here, polished wheels and disc brakes. Okay, over on here, we've got the uh, P Kenworth uh, battery powered air conditioning unit batteries will be inside of that panel. Okay, have a look here. We've got the big 76 inch sleeper. Even though it's a mid roof and a single bed, it is very deep. You've got about 76 inches from about there to there. Okay, on this side here, we've got a polished, fully exposed aluminum tank and it's 110 gallons. You can see here it had a headache rack. So you've got space to add a headache rack in here if you want. Uh, you can see the mounting holes there from uh, the previous rack that was on there. It's been removed. We've got a nice clean pogo stick there on the back so you don't have airlines running on the back of the cab. And you've got your air conditioning condenser for the, uh, for the battery powered air conditioning unit as well as the exhaust for the bunk heater. Go back here, we've got a brand new set of 33 inch stainless quarter fenders, brand new top hats and polished aluminum wheels. This particular unit has inside steel it was previously running on super singles. We've converted it over. On the back here, you'll see we've sandblasted and painted everything. Looks like new, nice blue. The chassis was originally painted the exact same color from the factory. So even if you look at the spots underneath the chassis where it's very hard to get at with a paint gun, you're gonna see that it's blue all the way through. You'll see here, we've got four uh, disc brakes at the back as well as well as six channel ABS. You'll see that you've got sensors for the ABS there and sensors for all six position wheels, which gives you better braking. You can actually order, believe it or not, uh, ABS with only four channels, which means that two axles, there's no sensors. They can lock up completely by themselves. It makes no sense to me, but you can order it that way. This one is a six channel. Again, more polished aluminum and brand new top hats. This is the Kenworth AG400 suspension, single pivot, four airbag system, sliding, Holland 3500 fifth wheel. We've got about, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we've got about 12 inches of sliding uh, movement there. Uh, we've also got the underslung exhaust. You can see it looks like it got a little hot. So that's all gonna burn off on the first regen. For now it's blue. Over here, we've got a 110. So we've got dual 110, you got 220 gallons total. Okay, inside of here, you'll see we've got fire extinguisher, subwoofer, uh, the Kenworth air conditioning system, and a uh, heavy duty inverter with a remote switch, which is up inside the cab. I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, we've got our def fill, your battery access is here. And let's have a look, we've got certified, obviously pack our engine, certified for California. Okay, have a look here. We've got Goodyear steering tires. They're about 80% tread. Disc brakes on the front. Everything's been painted nice blue. Doesn't matter how far back you look, you're gonna see blue, because this was originally painted blue. Uh, this is the double capacity alternator because it's charging eight batteries. Four for the truck, four for the, excuse me, for the air conditioning system. That system is isolated from the truck system. So if you happen to run your air conditioning to the point where those batteries go dead. It's not going to kill the batteries on your truck. They are isolated from each other. When you start the truck back up, the alternator charges both sets of batteries, but on a separate charging system. Over here, another matched 
80% Goodyear tire, pack our MX-13 engine. These are good for fuel, great for fuel. They're quiet, they don't leak oil. Uh, you do, I do recommend that if you're gonna consider purchasing pack car power, you've got a good mechanic that is comfortable working on them. They do require some specialized tools and software. Uh, let's go on inside here and we'll have a look at the inside of the truck. Okay, so we've got the Vantage interior, which is the mid-level. It's not the VIT, but we still have some nice upholstered stitching. We've got power locks, mirrors, and windows. Okay, we've got a, I'm gonna call it a very good upholstery seat. I'm not convinced that it's leather. In fact, I'm sure it's not leather because we can see cloth sticking through, but we do have the multi-adjustable uh, seat. And we've also got a battery kill switch in there, you can see, which is really nice. So when you leave the truck for any length of time, you're going to have to turn off those batteries to make sure that you're not coming back to a dead truck. So let's step on in here. This is an 18 speed manual. I might've said it was a 13 speed. This is an 18. Let's have a look at what we've got. I'm gonna turn on some lights. You've got your mood lighting on the floor and the second click will give you lighting on the sides which is nice, everything is LED, so it's energy efficient. So if you happen to leave them on, it's not gonna drain your batteries as quickly. We've got automatic climate control, Bluetooth audio, we've got locking differential, sliding diff, you've got a, a drop axle button, a cruise, jake, and a traction control override. Got a couple of spares here as well. This particular one has 704 miles, 704,000 miles. Uh, we've got the nice, uh, light check system I do like that so you push that button flick the switch and uh, all the lights are going to circulate through uh, on and off to make sure that all your lights are working uh, we've got a trailer brake a suspension load gauge and everything else is pretty much standard now I've moved this seat forward here that little handle there if you kick that over okay you can spin that chair around to face that table I put the table in the um, we'll call it the work mode so that spins around like that it's not um it's not a step it's simply to turn around and do work it's we'll call it a workstation if you want to call it that uh, when you're driving you want to have it in the other position so let me get some lights on in here so you can get a better look at it okay so this is a, is a really cool setup it's very efficient and so that just slides out of the way obviously you can't lift the bed when it's in that position um, but when you're parked you're obviously going to spin that out you can spin that chair around and, and um, you're, you'll be set up. You've, you've got a flat screen TV mount here with a, you can put a cable box there or some sort of a uh, blue Blu-ray player. Uh, you've got uh, 120 volt receptacle there along with a um, coax cable. Up top here you've got uh, an option to add a microwave and we've got a strap mount over here so you can strap a microwave down or a toaster oven in here uh, on here we've got more secure storage at the back single bed but we've got lots of good storage back here so inside if you look we've got uh, cupboards we've got stuff where you can just literally throw a duffel bag inside of there that's nice and also here as well continue on in here we've got clothes hanger a mirror some pockets a step to get up to nowhere because this would have been designed for the dual bed system and there is no second bed uh, it's very tall I would say we are at least another 10 inches above my head so it's probably close not quite seven feet but six and a half feet high over here we've got an inverter we've got the air conditioning system I'll turn on some lights my favorite feature the on-off switch for the refrigerator uh, we've got the refrigerator as well as some secure storage down below more secure storage over here and so this is a really nice living space. We've also got the emergency access doors on both sides with, and this is the nice feature on the, on the trucks with the climate control system with the APU, it comes with upgraded insulation. So you'll see this is a really thick curtain as are these. So everything is extra thick. And if you look at these curtains here, you'll see it's, it's extra thick as well. These are magnetic. so. Uh, when you line them up, line up that magnet to the magnet over here, you're going to have, uh, it's going to clamp down really good. Peterbilt and Kenworth and any manufacturer who makes 
uh, a battery powered air conditioning unit is going to recommend that when you are back here running that unit that you tr that you close the curtains the apu units that are battery powered do not have the output capacity heating or cooling to really heat the entire cab they're not designed for that they're designed to keep it cool and comfortable but they can't cool the whole cab the expectation is that you're going to turn set your temperature here get the cabin temperature to where you want it close that curtain turn on your unit and go to sleep it will maintain it for up to depending on the system and depending on the battery condition 8 to 12 hours uh, but obviously it's not going to be able to cool this area here so just be aware that these systems are designed to be more energy efficient obviously you're not running a diesel generator you're not running uh, it's a lot more efficient and, and, and quieter but it doesn't have the output so you have to be aware that these curtains kind of need to be in place for it to uh, to be able to work efficiently and maintain the temperature so i'm going to just put the steering wheel out of the way so i can step out of the cab i'm going to take you around the engine i'll let you have a listen to it running you can see it's in great working order as again it came from a well-maintained fleet it's coming safety certified dot certified it's ready to go to work it's coming with cold air it's coming with no leaks no lights you can see no lights here uh, and ready to go to work with a fresh service and that's the way our truck will come let's have a look here and see what we've got DOT inspection certificate here, you'll see it's dated November 2022. It's good for one year from then. Let's have a listen. An annoying noise over here. A piece of loose plastic. I'm not going to worry about that. Have a listen. See the fan on the screen. Pretty good. Take this off and have a, have a look inside of here for a blow-by. running truck so if you like this truck or any other one that you see feel free to give us a call my cell phone is area code 289-259-6054 or toll free you can call me 844-489-8789 it's rob at next truck sales i hope to hear from you soon bye for now